So here at Highland Print Studio in Inverness, uh, one of the printmaking techniques that we offer is a photogravure on polymer plates, or technically called polymer intaglio. So we're going to start off uh, with a Polaroid photograph. Uh, the source can be from uh, anything really, digital, uh, drawings, scan drawings, paintings, whatever. We then go upstairs to the digital suite where the Polaroid is scanned. Uh, the image is then developed in using Photoshop and then we adjust the image to suit the plates that we're going to hopefully end up with the image on. At the final stage in the digital suite is to print an uh, inkjet or digital transparency. The next stage is to take our transparency down to the exposure room and we're going to prepare the plate, the polymer plate. So the polymer plate is a steel back with a thin polymer coating and that coating is sensitive to light. First of all we're going to trim the plate to correct size, a little bit bigger than our image to give a little bit of leeway for holding the plate. The plate is then chopped just to prevent it from sticking to anything during the process, particularly as we're in Scotland and it is a, quite a damp environment. The, the first stage uh, of a two-stage exposure is what's known as a dove screen or a random dot screen. This is exposed onto the plate and this will provide a toothed structure uh, for the ink to hold onto on the plate when the plate is finally inked. The next exposure is the image itself. So this is our transparency that we prepared already and that is then exposed onto the plate. Once the exposure is complete, the two, two of them, we then, and this is the great bit with the polymer plates, they then develop in water. The plate is fully submerged going to be brushing the plate gently with a makeup brush and this will allow that unexposed polymer to float off into the water and let more water in to continue the development over a five minute period. The plate is then taken out of the water and blotted dry so there's no standing water left on it. And then it's put in the drying oven to be cured. The final stage of the exposure process is a flash expose. This is just light and this is going to just toughen the plate, harden the plate up for the abuse it's going to take in the printing, and particularly the pressure of the press that it's about to be put through. We're now preparing the plate for printing, so this involves trimming it to the correct edges of the image. And then I'm going to file and round bevel the edges of the plate and polish these edges up. This is done to protect paper and blankets in the press, but also mainly for aesthetic reasons. One of the nice signature marks of anything that's intaglio printed is the embossed plate mark. So paper is prepared uh, and a registration sheet to make sure that the plate is going to be placed nicely in the paper. And the paper is submerged in a bath of water for at least maybe 20 minutes, half an hour to allow the fibres to expand and become more malleable. We start with the intaglio inking process. This is a process where the ink is in the grooves or the indentations and not on the surface. To begin with, it looks like a bit of a mess. We're applying the ink all over the plate and pressing it in with a rubber squeegee which won't harm the surface of the plate. The next stage is with the scrim, which is a starched muslin cloth, and we're starting to wipe away the ink from the surface, and we go progressively to cleaner scrim. The final stage is polishing the plate surface with tissue, and this just evens out, brings up the highlights, evens out any marks from the scrim, and is the final bit of prep before printing. The plate is now ready to go, and it's placed on the bed of the press. Now the paper comes out of the bath and is squeegeed very lightly to take the worst of the water off and now it's put into blotters and these blotters will 
squeeze the water out of the paper so it should feel just damp and no more than that for printing. The paper is now laying on top of the plate on the press. Tissue put over the top and then high quality lovely soft woolen blankets rolled out and then it's rolled through the press. In this case it's a hand turned press uh, which gives a substantial and very even pressure. None of this is a quick technique so the press likes to roll through at a reasonably slow pace. Then once through you pull the blankets, roll the blankets back off, take off the tissue, you can see the embossed plate mark and then reveal the print.